road, it's just gone five o'clock. Probably got three to three and a half hours drive to get to where I'll start walking. So hopefully it all goes well and I can get into the block tonight. Just started walking, it's about quarter past nine. It's a beautiful evening here, not too hot, but he's still. Uh, I've got about 7k to go to get to where I can start hunting. This little weka, a weta just sitting out in the shingle. So I've probably got another k-ish. So I've got my camp set up for the night. Um, trying something new for dinner, some megarine noodles with just some beer sticks. I do have some tuna to put in there, but I thought the tuna would probably keep better if it's stinking hot tomorrow. And to get up this hill here, but as you can see, it's kind of fogged in. So I'm just gonna make my way down here and carry on around and just go slowly and have a look. No deer yet, but I have seen a, um, Seen a black pig over in that scrub there, it's moseying around. He's got no idea I'm here, so we'll just carry on and leave him be. Just spooked three young wieners. It's right there, probably 50 metres away. Hiding down in the scrub. Pretty quiet. Seen two deer just up here. Two hinds it looks like. Don't know where their fawns are. But not surprised I've seen something up here. Nice little stream with lots of cover. Real good grass. Got up the hill here. A real good spot you can see all the way from there all the way around all these little gullies and basins all the way over there so I haven't seen anything yet had a bit of a nap and some lunch but in be between that glassing and so I haven't come up with anything it's about after four now so I would have thought stuff would have started to move packs here which is super handy. This one I've got clothes in. I've got another one here I've been putting food in and then got a titanium pot. I've got the um, the 700 mil one because I because of trying the ramen noodles I actually need to put them in there. Um, but yeah they're super handy. They're um, really good fabric kind of similar to what this tent's made out of and zip and it's I guess I would say water resistant. Obviously water can get in around the zip, but it's real handy. This is also pretty comfortable as a pillow. So I spent quite a while glassing. Didn't see anything. Oh, a few goats, but it's got cold pretty much. So it's just on dark now. In my sleeping bag. Put some guidelines on the tent actually. Should be fine, but it's just quite exposed here right on top of this knob. And fresh socks, another ones are a bit damp. Pulled my contacts out, so I slept in them last night and wore them all day, so it was, it was pretty good to have them out. And yeah, hopefully, we get some sun tomorrow. It's not so cold. I mean, it was nice um, when I was walking and that, but as soon as I got up on the hill and sitting around, yeah, it's pretty unpleasant. Got everything I've got brought with me on, which is not a lot. Um, that's alright as soon as sort of we have a good glass tomorrow I think we'll drop down and head over those fast sides and check up in those little gullies I can't see from here probably won't sit around looking but I'll go up them and kind of clear them out make sure there's nothing there because um, if I do shoot something there um, it's about, probably about a 20k walk back to the truck so, and, I, and in that area, it doesn't really seem like I can see that much uh, that I can't see from here if I got up high. So I'm probably going to have to do each area sort of on its own. And I might come back down sort of where I saw the deer this morning 
on the pig and yeah stay down that way tomorrow night so I've been glassing a while now it's pretty bloody cold um, wind almost seems to have switched direction a bit the sun's just out on these hills behind me so I can't wait for that to get here um, I've seen this mob of deer I don't think there's any stags in there no old stags they seem to be running around playing together um, not super far away from me probably a kilometre and a half they have kind of seemed to be moving away. They do possibly look like young stags, just how they're playing. One there just looks like it's raking a tree. Um, so it might be worth having a look. Not long ago, a helicopter came through real low, lower than what I am here, and went over into the next valley. So I'm guessing there's some people over there. So we're just kind of, yeah, see how these deer are playing. They do kind of look like stags. Um, Definitely didn't look like old stags though. So. So there's a couple deer down there. Kind of right in the middle of the screen. Hard to see. It's about 5k away. I'm not sure if there's three or four. Three, you can see clearly though. I kind of wondered if those are those three young ones I spooked yesterday. Because that's kind of where they would have ended up. I'm going to head up here now. It's about 2k to the top, I think. So I'll just sneak up, see if I can spot anything. I haven't been able to see into here at all. So, given I'm here, it's worth a look. So just coming up this valley glassing and all the little side guts and then I've, so I've found a couple this is the one on the screen now is a young stag and there's a couple of I think they're hinds actually it's hard to tell they're about a kilometer or so away well actually that front one looks like it's got antlers too So maybe I'll get a little bit closer and have a look. I was hoping to see something a bit older, but this is kind of exactly the situation I was expecting. So I could possibly go up a bit further and then come back for these guys, because I don't think they'll go very far. There's a couple of goats over there. goat about a hundred meters is just shot one of them so I don't have much ammo and they're all bellies but this fella's pretty decent age quite a bit bigger horns than the others but they're all in bloody good condition they stink so would consider taking the head out but I got a wee way to go and so the deer are just up around the corner here. So hopefully I haven't disturbed them. Not that I was planning on shooting them anyway, but the suppressor helps. It's pretty quiet. The other goats didn't even take off until I started moving down. So I'm back down by where my gear was. I've set up my tent to get out of the sun. There's no trees or anything here. Um, had a bit of a swim, wash off, feel a lot better. Cooked up a bit of a feed, got some noodles, um, some ch chorizo sausage, it's pretty good. I decided to just leave those young deer, it's about 3 o'clock, 3.30, it was a bit bloody hot, it's real hungry, it's not a good time of the day to be dealing with meat, so I thought, come down here, relax for a bit, head over to where I was intending to go and just come through here what I'd call the Saddle of Hope 
comes out to this big beautiful valley which has a lot of geese in it no deer there's a wallow down there let's pick this little pig just here it was only just here Check them all out. So many geese. And here. There's a young stag just up in there. So I'm going to put the move on it. Sneak up this ridge here. Should be close. The wind is. The wind's all over the show, but hopefully I can get close enough to get a reasonable shot from one of those knobs just in there somewhere. Just range them up on the rock. Just put a shot into the stag. He went down real quick. Here he is. Out to it in the creek, not a huge rack, but pretty good nonetheless. <laughs> I would say um, that's the group I saw this morning. Because the other two were young, well, another sta young stag with slightly smaller antlers, and then a um, and then two spikers so it's an awesome way to end a huge day might go grab my pack and then whip them apart take the back stakes and the back legs and go down and find a camp spot it's a perfect location i'll shoot down down the river a little bit find a good spot that puts me in a good place to head out tomorrow there's all the meat strapped to my pack now I just gotta get all this other shit in there too. It's a decent amount of meat. It's gonna be some good steaks. He wasn't overly fat though. I guess there's still got another month and a half, couple of months to the raw. But he's gonna taste good and he's much needed meat and his life will be appreciated. And we're off. All loaded up. Back to the ridge now. So we'll just take it down here, get down to the flats, probably another couple of K, and uh, find a place to sleep. It's been a hard earned day today. Probably, oh, I think it'll be 28, 29 Ks by the time it's all said and done. So we'll get back there find a spot to camp right by the creek so it can drop the meat in there so it can cool down overnight because if it's another scorcher tomorrow um, it's going to take a while to get back to the truck might be a problem but if we can do that that'll cool it down real good the truck when I turned my phone off last night it had 20% and I turned it on well I went to turn it on this morning and it turned on long enough for me to see the time and that's about it so it is two o'clock now probably walked not probably back close to 15k today so it's probably 65k roughly total over the last few days and my feet are pretty sore just from this last walk out got all the meat here so i'm going to get some ice for that as quickly as possible got the head here and I'm going to go for a swim and then hit the road.